What's up, Peeps? Nick Battle, a.k.a. Nino's Corner, man. First off, if you like this content that's coming to you, go hit that subscribe button here on my YouTube channel. Go give me some likes, some comments on all the videos. It means so much to me, guys. You guys have been very great to me uh, just over these past few months when it comes to Texas football content. But if you're listening to this on the podcast, go give me a like, a five-star comment, a review. Something means a lot. But you guys know what we're here for today. We're here for today to talk about the Texas spring game, the 2021 spring game. Um, and primarily, we want to know who's going to win the quarterback position here this this year. Um, both guys actually play well, meaning Casey Thompson and Hudson Card. I think Casey was more poised there in the first half for the most of the first half. Um, he's, he, he stood in the pocket, had a cleaner pocket, you know, because definitely he was playing with the first team offense. So had a cleaner pocket, had some good check downs, had some good throws across the middle. Um, actually threw a touchdown pass to Josh Moore that was dropped. Um, so he had a really good first quarter, guys. Very good first quarter. Contrast that with Hudson Card. Hudson Card had some of the happy feet. I think it was some of the jitters that were just coming out. First real, you know, like game experience in front of some people um, to where he was getting a just a great amount of snaps. So um, I I think he looked a little bit rattled there in the, the first quarter. But as the game got, actually went on, Hudson cooled down, kept his composure, and I thought his second half was amazing. Hudson threw some great throws. He threw some great throws, but let's get to the second half in a minute. Let's finish on Casey Thompson's first half. So, like I said, Casey had a ball that he threw to Josh Moore, uh, dropped in the end zone for a touchdown. Should have been a touchdown. Um, also, uh, Casey drove the team down the field in the in the second quarter. You know, two minute drill. He gets down inside the the 15 yard line or so. Uh, throws the ball to Jordan Whittington. Throws it a little too soon. Deshaun Jameson, the shark, jumps the pass. Interception. Pick six. All right. So, yeah. Uh, very good play from the Shark. There's something that you don't want to see from your quarterback. So this is the only thing that I don't like about spring games, right? You're happy to see Deshaun James make a play, but you also don't want to see your quarterback make a bad play like that. But pick six, uh, you know, for Jamison, a really good play for him, but it kind of killed all the momentum there for Casey Thompson because the second half, Hudson came out blazing, man. Hudson was throwing that ball. He was slinging it around. He got more comfortable as the game got on. Um, that touchdown pass that Hudson Carr threw to Marcus Washington was something of, of, of a beauty. Um, and it goes to show just all the comments and things that were coming out from that previous coaching staff once they were let go. Every one of those coaches basically said that Casey's special. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Hudson's special. Hudson Card is special. Special arm talent can make all the throws. Just a really, really good sound player. Same thing that Sam Ellinger said also. He said Casey is the guy that's going to prepare like he's a starter. Um, and Hudson can make every throw, you know, in the playbook. Uh, and Hudson showed that. He showed that in the spring game. Uh, his his arm talent is something stupid. It's ridiculous. Uh, you know, that pass that he made to Marcus Washington, guys, I just can't get over that. Um, it was a pass that it was it was in the end zone. I don't need like Marcus just made the break. He was fully covered and the ball was put in only the spot that his wide receiver could catch it. So good timing, you know, just from uh, card. But talking about card also, let's talk about who his favorite receiver was. And that's Kai Money, man. Kai Money caught some balls for him, didn't he? You know, that you know, you know, Kyle Money's the guy who was a walk-on last year, earned, you know, earned a scholarship, and he had a really good spring game. You know, so once I, you know, finally get these these stats and stuff, guys, I'm gonna compile this, I'm gonna have it and do my Nino's corner number for the wide receivers, the tight ends, you know, just all the running backs. You know, all that's gonna get done, but I gotta rewatch this game. But Kyle Money might have been the most efficient wide receiver we had on the team today, and that's saying a lot. Um, you know, but that, but just going back to that touchdown pass, guys, that, that touchdown pass of Marcus Washington was a thing of beauty. Those are, those are passes that premier passers make. Awesome pass. But also talking about Marcus Washington, I think he dropped two balls, I think on that first drive with a Hudson card, um, also had a penalty where he, um, he hit, uh, who was the wide receiver? Oh yeah. Josh Moore. He hit Josh Moore, um, on a punt return early, uh, you know, so, just a couple mental mistakes, but he surely, surely made up for that in this in the second half when he caught that touchdown pass from Hudson Card. Um, also, guys, talking about other wide receivers, Troy Amiri. Casey threw a really good ball to Troy Amiri across the middle. He was running black jersey, so he couldn't get hit. But it's good to see that he's come back pretty much full strength coming back from that 
from that torn ACL in the last spring. So um, Casey made some good throws too over the middle. It's just Casey had that one mental mistake that was an interception, pick six. Uh, I'm pretty sure he wishes that if he could have that ball back, he would have had that ball back. Um, one thing about Hudson, Hudson's a gunslinger, okay? But he's a gunslinger that can make all the throws. And sometimes that'll get you in trouble. Um, there was a pass that Hudson threw to Marcus Washington, I think on his first or second drive that he was in. And Marcus Washington was going across the middle. And Hudson, um, he actually evades the pressure, steps back up in the pocket, um, and darts the ball over to Marcus Washington. And he put too much zip on the ball. The ball got there too quick. Washington wasn't able to get to the ball. Washington was wide open. Uh, every ball doesn't have to be a dart. And that's something that I put on my Twitter page, guys. I was like, every, every, every pass doesn't have to be a dart. If he had put a little bit of finesse on that pass, Marcus Washington is running for a good 20 yards there. You know, so just just those little things. But, you know, honestly, guys, I feel like that was some things as, as, as far as jitters that were coming from Hudson Carr. Like I said, that was his first or second drive during the game. But, hey, he looked good. So we have a true quarterback battle here, guys. We got a real quarterback battle here. Um, Hudson Carr versus Casey Thompson. Uh, I think Hudson made the better throws today, but Casey had – more poise. He had, um, you know, I think more control of the offense, but that's just what experience. Casey's been in the program now, what, for three years. Uh, so he, he does have that experience here. Um, he's able to adapt to different systems because he's he's been through a couple here. Um, you know, but he's he's a he's just a kid that's that's a quarterback. I mean, he he's a good quarterback, comes from a good family, a good football family, too. So um, both of these guys are going to be able to step in and, and do their thing. But Hudson Card is an athlete. Uh, that that uh, played actually wide receiver at Lake Travis prior to moving over to the quarterback position. And you can see he has some athleticism. I would like to see Hudson sometimes when you break down a play, uh, run the ball sometimes. You got the speed, you got the legs, you, you are an athlete. But what I do like about that is that even though he's not going to just let the play drop off and then he just takes off for a run, but what he does is he keeps his eyes downfield he scrambles to make a play downfield. Let your guys who are the true athletes, let the guys who are your wide receivers, the running backs, you know, get those check downs to the tight ends and the running backs. Let those guys make the plays for you. And that's what both of these guys did. But I think that's what Hudson is looking more to do is to be able to scramble to make plays down the field. Um, another guy who played really well to me, Avante Woodard, it was good to see him on the field make some good catches. Hudson threw a ball, I think, on the right hash where he dimed that ball in to, to Woodard awesome pass. I'm talking about an awesome play, guys. It was one of those passes that was a dart that had to be a dart, and it was one to him. Very, very good play by Hudson Card. So we got the true quarterback battle going into the fall here, guys. It's going to be very good. We haven't had a battle like this. I'm not going to say since Shane Buchel and Tyrone Swoops because the talent level on those guys were not the same when it came to passing. But I kind of you know like look at this as a quarterback battle when we had Jevin Sneed, and then we had Colt McCoy. Both guys were guys that came in that, you know, I don't think Colt did really well in that spring game, and Jevin Sneed did. Jevin Sneed was a younger prospect. Um, but it's like when the lights turned on, we all know what Colt did. And maybe that's what we're having here. Maybe Casey, when the lights come on, he does his thing. But guys, mind you, if you go back and look at that bowl game, you know, I am a Casey Thompson fan. I'm a Hudson Card fan too. But but you got to be honest with yourself. You, just go back and look. Just go back, look at that bowl game. There's a pass that uh, Casey threw, very similar to what he threw to Jordan Whittington today. But I think the ball was to Josh Moore, and he threw it uh, right behind Josh Moore. It should have been an interception by Colorado. It wasn't. So it was the same exact kind of play. So saying that Casey did really good in that bowl game, uh, but there were some plays that if the Colorado uh, basically their cornerback would have done better, that could have been a pick six to the house also. Hudson did throw a ball, too, that could have been a pick. Uh, he, he threw it across the middle, and I think it was Chris Adamaro who actually broke up that ball, and it should have been a pick. But in saying that, guys, I can't I can't knock it because you want to see your defense do well, too, and our defense really did well. Um, you know, I was very impressed with the defensive line. Uh, you know, but, you know, but just talk about the defense. I thought B.J. Foster was going to start this game, guys. Brendan Schooler. Brendan Schooler started this game with Jaron Thompson back at the safeties. And Schooler, man, he's, he's, he's quick. He's, he's very quick twitch. We all know that he played some safety at Oregon. Uh, I think he was freshman All-American. Um, 
or well, not freshman. No, he was freshman all Pac-12, if I'm not mistaken, at the safety position. Uh, and also, I think in special teams also, he was an all-conference player. But, hey, he is a football player. You know, just kind of reminds you of, you know, Johnson, you know, Sorojo. Basically, hey, put me anywhere. I'm going to play it. I'm going to help this team out and help this team win. And so kudos to to uh, to Schooler, you know, for making that switch and doing his thing. It was good to see him do his thing on a defense, and he made some good plays out there. Um, he's very quick. Also, guys, we got to talk about the pressure that was put on some of these quarterbacks, man. Jaron Thompson came off of the edge a couple times on a safety blitz, got to the quarterback. I love Jaron Thompson. He he is good. I mean, he is good. I, I love this game. He's young. We got him here at least for like another two years. Uh, so, yeah, he, he is really good. Um, also, Anthony Cook came off of the uh, – off the edge also, got the Hudson card, would have been a sack, they, you know, but they didn't call it a sack. Hudson actually threw the ball down the field. I think he overthrew his his wide out on that play, but that should have been a sack by Anthony Cook, and it would have been in a regular season gameplay. But, you know, guys, I'm kind of jumping all over the place here because so much to, to pack in. Uh, let's talk about the running backs. Bijan Robinson looks like Bijan. I mean, he's going to be a stud. You know, like every time he touched the ball, Bijan did his thing. Um, that first touchdown that he had, well, the only touchdown that he had, where he takes the ball to, to the left-hand side, um, goes off the left guard, um, you know, kind of proceeds over to the tackle, um, pivots to go inside, almost falls on the ground, puts his right hand down on the ground, uh, you know, basically gets his balance straight, and then walks straight into the end zone, a thing of beauty. Bijan is, is, is fine. Bijan is going to be that guy, you know, and I think we know that. I was I was very pleased to see. I think it's Gabriel Watson, number thirty one. He came from the FCS school last year, transferred in. Uh, he played really well. I mean, he is strong, man. He's strong as an ox. You know, so he played he, he played really well, and he played with the ones too a lot with Casey and um, the uh, first team offense. So it was really good to see him because we know that we got some some depth there at the running back position outside of Bijan Robinson and Roshan Johnson. And talking about Rojo. Rojo had a really good game too. I mean, I love Rojo. You know, like, call me the president of the Rojo, you know, like fan club. I love me some Roshan Johnson. Uh, one of the most selfless players that you're going to see on a team. A guy that's going to say, "Hey, put me where you want to put me, coach, so we can go win some games." And that's what he's going to do. Big, strong kid, man. What's he? Six one, six two, two twenty three. Um, he's a power back, but he got some wiggle too, man. So I like watching Rojo. He had some pretty good runs today. But um, you know, we'll see what the what the NCN numbers are going to be for the spring game. I'm going to have those numbers tallied for you guys here, hopefully in, in the next couple of days once I watch this game again and go play by play on it. Um, the tight ends were were pretty much a little silent. Uh, I wouldn't say silent, but uh, K. Brewer I think had a couple catches. I saw the catch from Jared Wiley, I think, in the third quarter. Um, Malcolm Epps had a ball that he dropped. You know, Hudson Carr threw a perfect ball to him, dropped the ball, I think, on the second or third down. Uh, yes, you know, so that drive stalled and actually went on to a punt. Uh, but you got to catch the ball. Come on, Malcolm Epps. You got all the talent, man. Uh, big, strong kid, too, 6'6 six, six or so, 200 and what, what, 50 pounds, 240 pounds or so. And Jared Wiley is, is, is just a man child. But I, I think we're going to see these guys evolve in the offense a little bit more once the season hits. Uh, so it was it was really good to see the tight ends. It was really good to see, uh, you know, our running backs, our tailbacks. They, they played outstanding. Um, and it was good to see our, our wideouts, whether it was, you know, um, Troy or Mary doing his thing. Jordan Whittington was very involved. He, he had a bunch of yak with his yards at the catch. So I can't wait to see those numbers too when I get those compiled to get these NCN numbers out there. Um, Josh Moore had a couple good catches, but he dropped that uh, touchdown uh, uh, pass. Um, Avante Water, like I said, guys, had a had a good game also. It was good to see him. And and like I said, Kyle Money stole the show, man. Kyle Money, Kyle freaking Money, man. He was he was dimes, man. He was He was on the money, no pun intended. Um, so really good spring game. You know, it was it was good to see the guys out there flying around doing their thing. What I did like from Coach Sark was it wasn't really that vanilla. You know, it was it was a good game to where um, he opened up the playbook a little bit. It wasn't just a just a really, really vanilla, boring game plan. It was it was actually pretty good and, and uh, you know, you know, just pretty well scripted. So kudos to to Sark actually playing these guys into the fourth quarter so we were able to see 
KC and, and, and Hudson Card over there in the fourth quarter. We saw Rojo in the fourth quarter. We saw Bijan in the fourth quarter. So we got to see these guys throughout the whole spring game. Usually, you know, I would see the starters or so in the first or second quarter, and then you let the, the backups get some play. So um, I think I saw Charles right out there a couple times. Uh, you know, so he, um, he had a couple good throws. But, hey, this is going to be a battle that we're going to look into, guys, for this quarterback battle here in the fall. And I think what Steve Sarkeesian is going to do is going to keep this a wide open show because I don't think either one of them showed enough to truly separate themselves. If I had to grade one or the other, I think Hudson made the better throws. I just think he did. Um, but Casey was so much more poised, I think, in the pocket. Hudson, got he got more poised as the game got on. But even after Casey threw that interception, he was still poised. Um, so it's, it's it's going to be something good, man. It, it's going to be a good game to watch. Um it's going to be a good, uh, you know, like competition to watch here between these 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 two quarterbacks here in the summertime and also going into the fall camp and see who wins this uh, starting position. And this is going to be really tricky because now with the new uh, football transfer rule where guys can transfer one time and play immediately in the same season or and, and don't have to skip out a year, it's going to be big. So I, I think what Sark's going to do is going to draw this out as long as possible um, and then pick who he thinks is going to be the best quarterback here. Uh, maybe like a week or two prior to the season to kind of keep both these guys engaged because you got you, you you need some quarterback depth, guys. But a really good spring game. It was good to see guys on defense like uh, Benda. Benda had a pretty decent game, too. Uh, I love his game. Uh, Jameson is another guy, like I said, had a good game. I saw Chris Adamara. He was running there flying around. He played some of the first team snaps also, I think, at that nickelback position. Um, who else, man? Uh, the defensive line, I saw Big Coburn during his thing out there. Um, I think I saw Gorm, Gorm Welch making a couple plays himself. Uh, Jet Bush made some plays, man. I mean, he was out there doing his thing. Uh, so, hey, uh, Prince Dorber came off the off the edge, got a, got a couple good plays, man, when it came to stopping the run. And also, I think he had a sack or two also. So, like I said, I, I'm a Prince Dorber fan also. Uh, so, it, it's going to be good to see him in some passing down situations. Um he hasn't really held up, you know, you know, just from the reports when it comes to, to the running game because he's he's not as uh, as strong as a guy like Ray Thornton. So he's only, I think, 220 pounds or so. You got a guy like Thornton who's, who's just a tad bit bigger than him. You know, so those can be big shoes to feel, you know, just coming from last year with Joseph Asai being our guy and possibly a first or second round pick here in, in his upcoming draft. So big shoes to feel. But good spring game all in all. And it's a good spring game because guess what? No injuries. Nobody got hurt. Right? That's all we're looking for. We just want to see our players play here at Texas. We want to throw up the horns. All right? And we want to make sure that nobody gets hurt in the spring game. And we accomplished all three of those things. We got a healthy competition. It was a, a really good game. Sark didn't make a vanilla, which is really good to see. And cool, man. On that note, man, hey, I'm glad you guys tuned in. I know I haven't been around for a couple weeks, man, but I'm doing some big things for you guys. I got something coming in the works, man. Um, I can't wait for you guys to see this. Uh, I'm going to unveil something here pretty soon, but it's like, on, it's like a 30 to 90 day project, right? So I've been working on this for about three or four weeks now, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. I've already shared the info with a couple of my boys, the Lando show, go check them out. Texas Homer, that's my homie. You know, so I already shared it with these two guys. They, they know what's coming and it's going to be something great, man. And it's going to be straight for Texas fans. And it's going to be for the Texas fan base. We're going to do some great things with, with you know, just some stuff I'm cooking up. And it's going to be a lot of collaboration uh, with myself and, and also all the YouTubers, man. So we're going to get everybody. We're just uh, Lando, uh, Texas Homer, Steve, you know, from, you know, um, Fanatic Perspective, uh, you know, my guys at Texas Football Talk, you know, Texas Platinum. I want to get all these guys. We're going to get some stuff going um, to where, yeah, I don't want to give out too much. They don't even know about this stuff yet. The only one to know is Texas Homer and Lando Show, man. But anyways, guys, let me stop before I start talking too much about that and kind of let the you know the, uh, the actual cat the bad guy. So on that note, man, we're going to end this uh, great spring game. Be looking out for the content with the NCN numbers for the game. Should be coming out this week. And I'll do like another video on that for you guys so that we can talk about that. And it was good to see our players not get hurt. Have fun and not get hurt. And it looked like they had fun. The offensive line held up pretty pretty well for the first team guys. Um, and I was impressed with everybody pretty much today. Good game. Uh, not not vanilla, which was good. And yeah, man, on that note, man, I'm out of here, man. Nino's Corner, we're out. Like I always tell you guys, man, do you. 
Don't be afraid to fail. Outgrow your environment. Understand your brilliance. And on that note, man, I'm out, man. I got the back of salute because Mike's here. I don't like the mic. And also, man, look at that hat, man. All gas, no brakes, man. My boy Mike Murphy, Last Stand Hats, man. Go get you an all gas, no brakes hat from Last Stand Hats, right? Best hats out there, man. I got about five or six of them. That's my dude. But anyway, guys, man, I'm out, man. Love you guys, man. Peace.